It is true that staff have reported an increase in distressed behaviour since children have returned from months of lockdown. But the violence existed long before that, and I think it's about time that we started uh, listening to that. Teachers should not have to return home at night battered and bruised, and parents deserve to know that their children will be safe at school. Now, the SNP uh, love a good summit, a working group, all sorts of consultations and various things, often to hide the absence of action. But at least this new summit, I suppose, allows us to make the case for change. And I do welcome the change of approach uh, from the Cabinet Secretary. And I have to say, it was a good speech that she made this afternoon, highlighting an understanding uh, of the issues that she has. But we do need solutions. For me, it's about confidence, tools and resources. Teachers need to have the confidence that the school leadership and the council have their back, that when they ask for help, they will get it. Outside the school, mental health and autism waits are far too long. In school, we need more staffing and classroom assistance. We need proper resourcing of additional support needs, which now covers one in every three pupils. It's an astonishing number. But there must also be a proper debate about how we apply, no, sorry, about how we apply the restorative approach. For the avoidance of doubt, and I've made this clear, I'm not for punishment, I'm for restoration. 